Hey everybody, DJ Legion here, back with you. Haven't filmed a video in a long time. Uh, great to be with you. Just wanted to show you some new stuff that I picked up on vinyl recently. Um, you know, just keep you updated and uh, talk about what's happening. Um, I bought a CD. The train's going by now that I'm filming. I bought a CD. Haven't bought any CDs in a long time because it's all about the vinyl. But, um... Saw this on George Wildheart's channel several months back and made a note that I was going to get it. This is Prince Purple Rain. Um, I believe the um, whatever anniversary edition it is. And this has three CDs and a DVD in it. So it opens up very nice packaging here. Three CDs and a DVD. Um... And basically, this has everything that he recorded for the Purple Rain sessions. Everything. All the outtakes, the demos, everything. Unused tracks. And a DVD of a concert performance from that time period. Um, they did reissue this on vinyl as well. I saw on Jeffrey's channel. Jeffrey Vuznok, I think his name is. I saw he showed the, the vinyl and the picture disc. But uh, I specifically wanted the CD... Uh, to get all the bonus material and the DVD. So I went with this. Uh, what, rarely do I choose a CD over a vinyl, but uh, in this instance, um, I went with the CD. So, and of course, moving on to vinyl, picked up a lot of great stuff. All different genres, all different eras. Uh, let's just get through it, go through it here really quick. A song for you, The Carpenters, found a clean copy of this. Uh, most of their hits are on this album. And, I mean, it, was, it has the original inner sleeve. Uh, it was in good condition. I didn't pay much for it. I think 7 bucks or $6. So, um, you know, a little guilty pleasure here, so to speak. Except Restless and Wild. This is a UK pressing that I scored for 8 bucks. And it's on red vinyl. How cool is that? Uh, very cool. Unique label. Have not seen this label before. Uh, it's a great album. Balls to the Wall and Restless and Wild are the two, the two must-own except albums for me. So stoked to get this on vinyl. Had this on CD for a while. It's a great, great record. Stormy Weather, Lena Horne. Just some 1950s pop vocals. Love Lena Horne. And... Um, Love the song Stormy Weather as well, so had to get this. It's a reissue of Motorhead's Ace of Spades. For the past month, I've been streaming Motorhead on my Google Play and thinking, man, I got to get some Motorhead on vinyl. Uh, so I saw this one at a local shop, uh, the reissue, and picked it up. Also picked up some Zeppelin. Um, I have these Zeppelins on CD. And the problem with CDs is they give you an excuse not to buy the vinyl. You know, you, you got 20 bucks to spend or 40 bucks to spend and you're at the record shop and you know you want that record on vinyl, but you know, you have it on CD at home. You know how it sounds, you know the music. So that kind of gives you an excuse not to, you know, to buy it on vinyl. But I finally did break down and I picked these up on vinyl. These are the 2014 remastered by Jimmy Page himself reissues Zeppelin 3 which has the spinning wheel you know that we all know the cover where it spins Zeppelin 2 and Zeppelin 1 quote to the self-titled picked all three of those up uh, last Friday actually so I was glad to put those in my collection finally. Like I said, had the CDs for a long time, but uh, finally upgraded to the vinyl on those. I've got some more Big Band and Swing from the Uncollected series. This is Skene Ev Enos. Skene Enos and his orchestra, 1946 to 1948. Artie Shaw, Volume 2, and his orchestra from 1938. And Stan Kenton and his orchestra volume four from 1944 to 1945, Big Band and Swing. Love this series. I don't know how many of these. Um, I don't know how many of these I have now, but 
gosh, maybe 10. Um, so a bunch of great big band and swing from that time period. Found a super awesome clean copy of Steve Miller Band's... Um, is this Fly Like an Eagle? No, this is Book of Dreams. Book of Dreams. Amazing copy of this. Uh, super clean. Has the original inner sleeve. The original pressing with the custom labels. And it even still has the original merchandise form in it as well. I paid $8 for that. Stoked to get that. Duke Ellington, In My Solitude. It's just a Capitol Records 70s repress. Um, I don't know what I paid for that. It still had the shrink wrap on it when I bought it. That may be $6. I don't, have, I don't have any Duke Ellington as much as I love the big band and the swing sound. You'd think I would have some of him, but I, had not, I did not have any Duke Ellington on vinyl until this one. So it was in great condition, still in the shrink wraps. Only a few bucks, so I picked it up. <coughs> uh, some soul and funk music. This is Leon Huff, Here to Create Music. This is a great record. This is a promo. White label promo from Philadelphia, The Sound of Philadelphia, great label, great soul and R&B and funk is on this label. And this is a fantastic record, Side 2 especially, uh, was really fabulous. And Leon Huff wrote a bunch of songs for other people, but this was the album that he released uh, for himself. Great stuff, great artwork there on the back. Uh, some country and western, Johnny Horton's Greatest Hits in the Shrink. What did I pay for this? $4. Uh, this has Battle of New Orleans, Sink the Bismarck, North to Alaska, all his hits, obviously. This is an upgrade of an upgrade. I had a beat to crap copy of this, and I got for free. Then I scored an upgrade for a buck, you know, like a year later that was in better condition. But this one is in super fabulous condition, still in the shrink wrap. So this is probably the last one that I'll ever need. Uh, so that's cool. Merle Haggard, his epic hits, the first 11. This is was sealed in the shrink wrap when I bought it. Paid $10 for it. Great songs here. Um, I wish a buck was still silver. I love that track. Poncho and Lefty. That's a great track as well. Big City. Um, that's the way love goes. Someday when things are good. It's a bunch of great songs on here. Classic, classic country music from uh, Merle Haggard. And it was, like I said, mint sealed in the shrink. So it sounds fantastic. Um, another great one. This is mint sealed as well. I paid 12 bucks for this one. A little pricey. This is Roseanne Cash, the King's Record Shop. Uh, I have not played this yet. I did open the shrink wrap. But I have not... Uh, give this a spin, but it's a great record. It has a fantastic song on here called Tennessee Flat Top, um, which I'm going to enjoy. Uh, great to hear all the other music as well. Uh, the T-Birds, the fabulous Thunderbirds from Austin, Texas. This has the songs, if you remember them, Tough Enough and Wrap It Up. Great Southern rock, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Archangels kind of vibe uh, from the Austin, Texas area. Kathy Matea, uh, this is great country female vocalist, 1980s era country, and a great track on here called Where Have You Been? Uh, but this is good stuff, well, you know, along the lines of Reba McIntyre, Roseanne Cash maybe, you know, that kind of Holly Dunn, right in that period of, of uh, just female country vocalist. Kiss is Ace Frehley's 1978 solo album. Um, scored this for six bucks. <laughs> the guy had just got this in in a stack of vinyl that he bought, and he hadn't even priced it, hadn't even put it out. And um, I came in with the Kiss T-shirt on. Go figure. And he had, you know, a few copies of Love Gun, Kiss Alive, stuff I already had, but I did not have a good copy of Ace Frehley's '78 solo record on vinyl. It does have the original inner sleeve. And the vinyl is super clean, does not have the poster, and it does not have the merch form, the merchandise form. But still, $6. No, there's no corners cut on this. Um, some, a lot of them have the corners clipped off because they press too damn many. 
and they were mostly a lot of them were sent back but this one has no clip corners and was in good enough condition for six bucks had to pick that up by the way i saw ace freely last month in berkeley the cornerstone uh which is like uh, used to be a pool hall but now it's uh, like a rock club they do live concerts there and ace freely and his new band came through and they were fantastic saw them just uh just last month, a few weeks back, and um, it was great to see him. I haven't seen Ace as a solo artist since 1988, when Freely's Comet, damn, we're opening for Iron Maiden uh, on the Seventh Sun Tour. That's the last time I saw Ace Freely uh, not in Kiss, so it was great to see him. And like I said, I was maybe, gosh, I don't know, 15 feet from the stage, you know, it was great. It was really great. Got to see him nice and up close, and his band was really good, super talented. Played a lot of great Kiss songs, uh, Strange Ways, Parasite, yeah, Love Gun. They played Detroit Rock City, and, of course, a bunch of his solo stuff as well. So that was cool. And there's more Ace. This is the Bronx Boy 12-inch, super cool. Um, it came out recently. This is going to be the I like to push for the next solo record. Bronx Boy, I guess, will be the the advanced track. Super cool. Has a download card and it's on amazingly cool white marbled vinyl. So that was awesome. Had to pick that up. I've got the three. Tra it's only got four songs on it. Two tracks on each side. Three of which I already have and. All of the Kiss fans and heavy metal fans already have if they have his other albums, but still wanted to pick this up just to get that extra track. Super cool. See how young he looks. He didn't look anywhere near that young when I saw him three weeks ago. And uh, some Mel Torme. Love me some Mel. This is a Verve Records 1980s Japanese pressing of Back in Town. Mel Torme with the Mel Tones, which is a female backup group. Love these. 80s Verve Records represses and a Japanese pressing at that. Very cool. Um, yeah, it is, so it has Jap. I can't show it to you really, but it has a lot of Japanese like you know lettering on the on the record label itself. Uh, another Mel Torme. This is songs about love. This was mint sealed. Pick this up for just a few bucks. And finally. We'll close off with some hard rock. Alice Cooper, Paranormal on Vinyl. This is his most recent album. Uh, this was pretty pricey because they, you know, they split it up onto two 180 gram pressings. And um, it also came, it has, it's on colored vinyl, I believe. Let's see, or is it? Maybe not. No, just on black. Standard black vinyl. I haven't spun this yet either. Custom labels though. Um... And of course, great artwork on the inner sleeves. Um, haven't given this a spin yet, but I did stream it on Google Play, and it's and it's good. It's Alice Cooper, and it sounds like an Alice Cooper record uh, would sound. Those basic themes that he always sticks with: mental health and and other social issues. And there's also a CD of his classic hits uh, live in Columbus, Ohio, on May 6, 2016. No More Mr. Nice Guy, Under My Wheels, Billion Dollar Babies, Feed My Frankenstein, Only Women Bleed, and Schools Out. And this was produced by Bob Ezrin, legendary producer. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, the new Alice Cooper. I guess I'll show you the gatefold. Pretty great here. Very cool. So that's it, man. That's what I picked up in the last, I don't know, how long has it been since I filmed? <laughs> A few months. Um, I am doing well, continuing with my physical fitness goals and objectives, training every day now. Um, still getting up at the crack of dawn, 4.30 in the morning, Monday through Friday, and doing cardio and weight training at the gym for a couple of hours. Um, that has remarkably improved my physical appearance and <laughs> my, uh, my conditioning and endurance and all of those things. I'm um, going to start a new job in about a week, a couple weeks, I think. Uh, I think I'm going to start on the 15th. I have to verify that on the 10th, going in on the 10th for like an orientation. But um, I think we're going to start on the 15th. So two weeks, I'm going to start a new job. It's going to pay a little more. Um, it's going to give me, it's going to be a swing shift job. So it starts at two in the afternoon, which will give me 
uh, some time to work out in the mornings. Uh, I'm kind of, it's kind of, I have to rush my workout now because I have to be at work at nine in the morning in San Francisco. Um, but once I change things up with this new gig, it won't be, I won't be quite so rushed in the morning. I can spend more time at the gym. And also this job will allow me and my wife to have the same days off, which for the last two years we have not had. Um, and that, you know, that's just not good. Um, so we'll have the same days off finally, and I'll make a little bit more money and I'll have more time to work out all things that I wanted to, uh, to get to. And this, um, so I applied for another position and they asked me another company what I wanted. And I said, I want more time to work out. I want to spend more time with my wife and, um, I want more money. And they said, okay, we'll give you a call in a few days. And sure enough, they did give me a call in a few days and says, we have it. We have the post, the position that you want. It's going to give you everything that you asked for. So um, I already turned in, I turned in my notice at my other job, and we're going to make that switch here in a couple of weeks. Um, other than that, everything is doing great. I will get a new turntable. This thing here, as much as I love it, is just too cost prohibitive to keep maintained. I will get a new turntable probably within the next seven weeks. Um, so I'll of course do a video on that uh, modern table. Um, haven't totally decided on the brand yet, but um, it's a ProJet model that I really like and an Audio-Technica, the Audio-Technica 120, uh, which is kind of the poor man's <laughs> techniques. Um, those are kind of the two front runners right now. I'll be getting a new turntable and um, Possibly new speakers and a receiver. I don't know exactly, but I'm getting a new system and I'm getting it this year, this fall, coming up probably in the next couple of months. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the vinyl. Kind of rushed through it really quick, but, um, you know, it's great stuff. And I guess that's it for this video. Um, hope you're all doing very well. If you have not subscribed, uh, please do so. And, you know, throw a comment down there in the comments and hit the like button and all that stuff. I appreciate all that. Still haven't broke. I think I'm at 596 subscribers, 597. I don't know, but I'm, you know, I'm right on the cusp. Every time you get ready to cross over to another hundred, it seems like it takes an eternity to get those last, you know, five or six subscribers that you need to cross over to the next, you know, 100 checkpoint when you go from 500 to 600, 600 to seven or whatever. Um, so I'm still not at 600 subscribers yet, just right up underneath it. So a few of you watching who haven't subscribed yet, you could hook me up and take me and my channel to the next level. You have the power. <laughs> anyway, until I see you again, you know what to do. Turn up the music and turn down that drama, and I'll see you soon.